If you are an Apple iPhone user and you noticed maybe after a couple years your phone starts to slip, especially after, uh, let's say, a new phone gets announced, you're not alone. And there may be some reasoning why. Uh, recently it was let known to the world, I suppose, in a, a Q&A about uh, greenhouse gases that iPhone ex uh, Apple expects its iPhones to last only three years and for OS X users to have their devices for about four. And what does that mean altogether? It, it's kind of an interesting picture. Three years is conservative because it was about two when I had to go buy my six. Uh, and, and even then I felt it was like a year, year and eight months. Uh, it's because as soon as that, the latest, uh, when the six dropped, I was like, oh, my iPhone 5. Look at this. It doesn't work so much. It's slow. It's janky. It's boring. And uh, the boyfriend's laptop, uh, it's at four years old, Mac. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, I'm getting a new one. Do you want my old one? I'm like, no, because it's useless now. So uh, I think those of us who are consumers of Apple have inherently known this. We, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's something we've suspected for a while. No one's going to admit to it. It's not like Apple's going to come out and be like, well, sorry, guys, we make our products to last only so long so you can keep giving us money, but... I mean, we have the idea of planned ob obsolescence, yeah. which is known very well throughout the tech community uh, and has been largely suspected mm -hmm. in a lot of companies. I'm not sure if that's exactly what they mean. It's... I think you can definitely make that logical I, I think conclusion. You can infer it, yeah. I uh, think, but it seems to be referring more specifically to the the life of the hardware. Uh, the software has actually been pretty good in terms yeah, of keeping yeah. up, uh, uh, keeping old older mm -hmm. hardware updated with newer software. But the but will the hardware run the newer software is the big key. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it, it starts to slow down. It gets chuggy. It's you know, there's you know, it, there are definite issues. You know, you can't run a you know, look at it with like graphics cards and stuff, at least on computers. You know, you get a, a newer software, a newer video game. You can't run something on an outdated graphics card. And problems with Macs is you can't just, on like a PC, you can't just plug in, you know, pull it out and put a new one in. That's why I built my own computer at home because I can always upgrade it the way I well, want Well, you're to. also a gamer and oh, it, yeah, you, you ha it has to be a PC. That's I'm sorry. I know, that's you do. <laughs> no, it's true. And that's why the only the only Mac device I own is my phone. So, Yay. or Apple device I call it. See, I don't even know what to call it. That's how, that's how un- Apple, Apple I am. Device. Whatever. I'm so anti Apple. I only got this because I like iMessage. Uh, I, I mean, there's different reasons for getting different phones. I know. Uh, but th that is it. Inter is interesting to know mm -hmm. that Apple does expect you to keep your device for three years. Yeah. Well, they've also built a very loyal following. I mean, look at their branding. They, you know, Apple. When you buy an Apple device, you're buying. I mean, yeah, you're buying into the Apple brand, but you're also buying into that whole. Well, you are. You're buying the culture. You're buying this single product that's going to do exactly what you want and you know it's going to work. And I think a lot of, uh, of long-term Apple users have been trained mm -hmm. to buy something new every few years. Uh, you know, again, I, I referenced my boyfriend because he's a long-time Apple user and he would tell me, oh yeah, every, every three to four years I upgrade my, my big machines, I upgrade my laptops every three years, I to upgrade my phone every two years. I mean, he has been so trained by that for the last like 12 years. And that's just how it is. And I think any long-term Apple user will tell you that. And it's just something that they've ingrained into them. And it's it's smart. Well, how I don't long, agree with it, but it's smart. How long do your, uh, I, it's, you can't say like Android, Android supported devices. How, how long have you seen them last? I don't know because the one I had was hacked by my ex-boyfriend and I had to get rid of it. So. Okay, awkward. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, but as far as my PC goes, so I built my, I built my PC back in 2014 and I built it on the cheap so I technically used parts from the previous year and I um, and I'm, I'm at the point where I need to upgrade my video card but my motherboard and my my um, my uh, chip I have a i7 they're mm -hmm. great I don't I won't have to upgrade those for at least another year or two which I mean it does kind of keep it at a four-year mark but again being being a gamer I do want to always have the best tech that I can have so you know, maybe I need it more than most. I think it comes down to what are you using your device for? What do you need it for? I think it also comes down to, I mean, perhaps this is a widespread problem yeah. across the industry. I think it which is. Which is planned obsolescence. Mm -hmm. You make more money if these things don't last forever. Yeah. And that goes beyond technology or consumer technology, mm -hmm. rather. Uh, but it is interesting to know that they, that's how long they expect the marker to last until it becomes, I presume, untenably slow yeah. and difficult oh, to use God. at all. My PC laptops were the worst. They were like two years, 
and they'd I, be I out. had uh, Dell laptops yeah. a lot in college. Yeah, my, my one and a half. Oh God, yeah, the Dell was the worst. <laughs> um, I think my my Hewlett Packard was the best. It lasted. I, I got I got four and a half years out of my HP. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good, but. Yeah, I mean, it's just the tech industry as a whole because they always want you buying the latest, greatest thing to make more money. But then, you know, you look at someone like my mom who works in the tech industry and she does this by day, but her home PC, I think that thing is like eight years old and she doesn't care because all she does is check her email and play solitaire when she goes home because she spends all day coding databases. So the last thing she wants to do is use That's a computer at home. That's what my mom does. Yeah. Well, she's retired from IT. Aww. Uh, but yeah, her, her HP is very old <laughs> and it works fine for what she uses it yep. for. Uh, which is nothing. Um, so it's in, take that fact for what mm -hmm. you will. I would like you to know that for the price of a new iPhone, uh, you can buy potentially a used car that will last longer. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. I am curious to know what happens to people who do use their devices for longer than the three-year, uh, I don't know if it's suggested, mm -hmm. but presumed uh, lifetime of a device. So if you have been using your device for longer than that, let's say uh, both Apple and, uh, you know, Not, Android supported, no. um, whichever brand, uh, let me know about that. Apple is still one of the largest, uh, no, I think they, they are the largest. They own 13.9% of the global oh. smartphone market share as of Q2 2015. So this is, I mean, it like just, you said, maybe it's a very ingrained attitude to yeah. uh, replace them now and then. It may be generous by yeah. what we went by uh, with the 1.5 to two year mark, or it might be low depending on your mileage. What is your mileage? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.